Palestine. Main roads that lead to the port of Tacoma end. Where rallies begin. Stop bombing Gaza now! Today, crowds of people protested against aid for Israel and pledged support for Palestine. We just blocked off several of these streets leading up here to the port. Free, free Palestine! Groups of people stationed at several different entry points rallied for more than 10 hours, pointing attention toward the military ship Cape Orlando. We have uh, sources that indicate to us that there is a military cargo that is going to be uh, put on this ship here. We can't confirm whether it's been put on yet. Not another people, not another time. The Tacoma protest comes in connection with a demonstration in Oakland planned by the Arab Resource and Organizing Center. Our goal there was to sound the alarm and uh, happened in pretty spectacular fashion. It was occupied the vessel at its entrance for uh, nine hours. It's been nearly a month since the October 7th attack by Hamas on Israel and weeks of airstrikes on Gaza that followed. They remained until the end of the day, saying it was a success to be able to delay the ship. And Joyce, ultimately, they were here for more than 10 hours today. The ship still here at the Port of Tacoma. So, Erica, what is the current status of the ship? What do we know about this particular vessel? Well, as I mentioned before, I did reach out to the Department of Defense and they did confirm that it was a military cargo vessel, but they wouldn't specifically say what was being loaded onto it. Protesters that were here today said that they had heard it was weaponry headed to Israel. The Department of Defense citing operational security said that it could not confirm what that ship would be doing or carrying or where it would be going next. All right, Erica Zuko in Tacoma along the waterfront there. Thank you.